y'all and welcome back. We are going to start putting the siding on the front of the house. So while Jim's gone today for work, I am going to go ahead and get everything prepped up for it. I'm gonna tape the windows first <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and run the foam across the bottom and try and get some of these siding pieces cut also. I'm hoping that going ahead and cutting some of these pieces can help you know, us move along a lot faster on the front of the house. Because by the time that Jim gets home today, we're not going to have a whole, whole lot of daylight. I'm hoping that this is going to speed up the process. So, like I said, first things first, tape. I guess I could have used a smaller ladder. Didn't really think about that. <laughs> So my plan is to run the tape where it's going to go over the Lowe's house wrap seam along with where it's supposed to go on the window and that way it'll kind of create a double barrier right there. We don't really want to have any chance of water being held anywhere so I think if I overlap that seam it'll definitely keep the water out. So on this side, I'm like eh, probably an inch away from the strap seam that I was telling y'all about that I went ahead and overlapped on the other side. And it would probably be fine to go ahead and like leave it how it is right now with it, the seam and everything still showing. But that would make me nervous, honestly, long term, if something were to happen to these windows, it's just not worth it to hold any water right there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece over it and it'll just be extra protection. I'm only out like five bucks of this stuff. So five bucks or a leaking window, I would assume the five bucks would be better. <laughs> Are you gonna help me? You wanna cut it off for me? Hmm? So now all I got left is to brush it, put the foam on, and we'll be ready for the side. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where anyone can discover, take, or even teach a class. Skillshare provides the chance to learn a wide variety of topics online from expert teachers. Skillshare offers courses in photography, film, creativity, graphic design, crafts and plants, self-care, and many more. We especially have loved the course Goal Setting for Creative Projects by Monica Kanakova. With building our own home, we have scattered projects and ideas throughout our build that tend to get jumbled and disorganized. Being able to learn how to manage our projects for Monica has added organization and structure to our house build. Monica says, if you have a figurative goal, you will know what you're working towards. Focusing on the progress and not just the outcome allows more time to spend engaging in whatever goal you set for yourself. This course has been so beneficial to us 
and it's all because of Skillshare. Skillshare launches new premium classes each week, so there's always something new to discover. The first 1,000 people to use the link or our code Cajun Country Living will get a free trial of Skillshare. Try it now, you never know what you'll find. So I only got about two sheets cut because that explains everything. But Jim just got home. Hey. I got what it. do we got here? Okay, I don't know if they're miter saw proof or nail gun proof. But I got two different colors, two different name brands. So we're going to put these two head to head and see which one lives longer. Do I get the yellow one? You can have whichever one you want. You just got to promise not to touch mine. Whichever one you pick. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I wanted this one anyway. <laughs> What's all this business about how I can't use your tape measure? This is a task for you, so I figured we'd use your tape measure. That way at the two foot mark, if there was a hole in it, it'd all be you, not me. Well, this evening, thanks to daylight savings time, we do have a little bit more daylight to work in. But, we have gusts of wind. Uh, it was... Gus thought you said his name. <laughs> oh, a gust of wind. A gust. Not Augustus McRae. <laughs> anyway, it's like a a big sail for a, for a sailboat. When you pick <laughs> up this nine foot by four foot wide sheet, the wind catches it, and it's heavy anyway. It's really heavy, and the wind catches it and blows us all over the place. I don't know what we're gonna do. If the wind don't yeah. die down some, we probably are not gonna take a chance on doing another one this evening. We'll try again tomorrow. Sound good? Uh, that sounds good to me. All right, so the weather had originally said that it was supposed to only be like six mile an hour winds today. That's why we put off a lot of this work till today. Well, as y'all can tell, it is up to about 20 mile an hour winds. Can barely even keep a ladder up outside. So we're gonna try and get a few pieces of this up that we can, but we're probably not gonna get what we wanted to accomplished. I think we're gonna hold up on putting those long sheets in because it's just, it's the wind is too much. It's just blowing us all over the place and we're afraid that we're gonna start breaking it because it's hard to hold on to. I mean, we're a, yeah. a two person construction crew and <laughs> that wind is probably flat out 20 miles an hour and gusting yeah. 30, 40 and it's just way too much for our little selves. 
So we're going to try to put up those top few little gabled end pieces and see if we can get those up there because they're going to be smaller. And maybe we can do it off of the extension ladder? Yeah. Uh, question mark? I don't know. But we're going to try it. Good job, Gus. <laughs> he found him. He found him somebody to play with. <laughs> so now would be one of those times that it would be really, really handy if you was actually a carpenter. <laughs> we can do pretty good with the straight cuts and the angled cuts, but uh, we're fixing to have to take this side and around the door. That is an archway. So. Jim picked up a jigsaw today, that way we can cut around the door better. But I'm pretty positive they don't make a fiber cement jigsaw blade. If they do, I couldn't find it. I mean like specifically saying fiber cement blade. So we pretty much bought every blade that might be compatible with this stuff. So we don't know if it's going to cut it. We're hoping that it is. We're just hoping we can figure out how to cut this arch part out. I ain't figured that one out yet, but we're just going to trial and error like we do everything else. Hopefully it works out.
So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold this like this and you're gonna hold it there. Just hold the pencil at inch and three quarters and follow me. Sound good? You know people are laughing their butts off right now. <laughs> Probably a guard catcher. A guard catching hootus. Jigsaw cut. Take one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just losing pieces. Yeah. No big deal. Hey, that is cutting great. It really is. You're kind of venturing from the line, though. I really am. I don't no. know why. I kept it in the little groove. I don't know. I don't either. Hey, I know we talk about how we're not carpenters all the time, but if y'all are confused and think that we're lying, I assure you we're not. We just happen to be that good. <laughs> Don't watch any of our other videos. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how we can come up against this stuff. And I know a lot of it, it really seems simple when you're watching it, but when you're hearing it's your money and investment and time, and it's uh, some of this stuff is just kind of hard to figure out because you don't want to make a mistake. And we do sometimes, but it just feels good when things work out. Mm -hmm. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. So now that we got the hard part, which we thought was going to be hard, out of the way, we can go ahead and knock out this side of the house. Even if the sky is falling down. Thank y'all for joining us this week. You know, with all the wind and even having some, apparently, <laughs> power blip. With all the wind and the rain that we had, I'd say that we had a good outcome on siding, putting up process. <laughs> <laughs> we got some stuff done, that's for sure. Uh, thanks again for Skillshare for sponsoring this week's video. And the shout out of the week goes to none other but my mom she has by far been the biggest cheerleader for us through this whole thing and we just wanted to extend our thanks this week to her love you mom <laughs> so y'all hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see y'all next week bye cajun family <laughs>